Hey, it's me again. Welcome back, guys, with my new tutorial, Light Tricks. Right now, you can see a uh, sculpture. And we're going to show you a uh, few ways to eliminate the things. Uh, it's the same thing for uh, 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 open space. So you can check right now is this sculpture and downloading using Turbo Squid on the website. It's excellent, excellent, excellent site to download 3D model, 3D meshes. So let's get started. Well, a uh, one way to start illuminating uh, that thing is using a uh, only light. So you can check it right now. Is the the shadows is on? And gonna see the, the standard illumination for this sculpture. But I'm gonna show this trick using the crossing target spot. Using the target target spot, crossing up in a positive angles, you see a very specular ambient environment. So the result is in this is a couple renderings and you see a better shape and you can see this effect this fading effect for this illumination so you can change this for a Y a Y con this husband hot spot beam I'm gonna put multiplier in one to see this light trick effect. See? This is a light trick effect. This is a fade effect. We a big dash illumination. All the way forward for that. Is uh, gonna change this. Sorry for that. I'm gonna change. Click on in shadows and do the same for the on another target spot. I have the same multiplier and the same hotspot parameters. Gonna render it, and you have the the other effect using the specular and the shell more softer, and you can see that the skin is more realistic for this effect. It's very special using for illuminate characters and get more realistic effects. For the skin texture, you can check it right now. Right, just kind of all the facts is just turning on the shadows. So you can see right now that the shell is uh, very, very, very hard and it gets suffer these shadows. So we, I'm gonna change this using ray tracer shadows. And render it. To see and to watch the results. Okay. 
Yeah, that's it. We have a, a moralistic shadows using the ray trace shadows. I'm gonna get a little more software technique. Use rendering. Let's see, let's see. Remember, YouTubers, if you need any more materials of the its entire scene of the image for the setup, you can check right now my website. It is 3dultimate.com. It's the only way to have more information. Just a few clicks, man. A few clicks. Well, now let's get started with another trick for illumination is a uh, uh, color the in the cross cross illumination okay. this is the first part you can see that's different ways to illuminate using the sticky Okay, now this part. Okay. Just a little bit, and a little bit, you can see right now the cross, the color cross. Illumination. You can you can see the the cross here on the top. Here the cross. And then I call the the cross illumination. And see what happened here. A little different change. Using different points for illumination, different angles. I'm gonna turn on the ray trace shadows. Off and on, on the shadow map. Mm -hmm. Almost done. So I'm just gonna render this. And see the entire result. Right? It's a shell more realistic. You can see in deep all the palms. Or that way, see all the, all the surface, the treaters into the face. Blending it using the shadows, and you see very suspect from the shakes or of the dress. Let's see more closer. Can I select this and erase that. That's a technique nah, using the crux.
other way is emboldening light. The emboldening light is, is amazing. You create a white room using this technique, and everything gonna see very bright uh, um, and hard shadow. So it's I love this technique. You can have a unique piece, very very illuminated using this technique. So I want to show you how to use the involving lighting technique. So right now you can see this uh, Alex. The parameters is on my website. So you want to see use it the, the the same Alex. You can check my website and. You can see the parameter for the Alex. So, in to, to this shape, I use a uh, Alex and a standard only lights using shadows. E using my spacing tool is on edit. Sorry, uh, tools and spacing tool or or Shift I. If I is the same thing, so I select my light for the fault and click the path. In on uh, the path is Alex. I'm gonna use count. Count is the how many you lights you need in in the path. And this time I'm gonna use seven. Eight, anything that you need to use this evolving technique. This is a one. You gotta use twelve to see what happened. Hmm. This is another way to eliminate it. I love it. This this part. So this. For this point, you can you can turn on or change the value in multiplier. You have a, that technique. We can use a uh, skylight. I change this for warm. Use like sky color. And render it. And you have the real, real result, the real illumination for this. Okay. Now it's taking the whole environment. Thanks so much.